what's going on you guys what's up welcome back to my channel um today's video is not like planned at all um if you're already a subscriber you know that i uploaded a video yesterday it was the first episode in my new fitness series you guys were so supportive on that so thank you so much i'm incredibly grateful that you're following my journey and i just i read through every comment and i really appreciate you guys um so today's not supposed to be a filming day for me at all why is my heart like Um, today's not supposed to be a filming day at all. As you can see, I'm like real casual, no makeup. I got into workout today. Today's like a full mommy day. I have to clean the whole house. I have a ton of laundry to do. I'm feeling really overwhelmed. I don't know if I'm bouncing on my period or what. I'm like so emotional today, but I thought this would be a very transparent, honest time to just turn on the camera and do like a real raw chit chat because it's been a minute since I've done one of these and these are what I find are the most relatable from other YouTubers that I watch. Um, I got a comment the other day, or on one of my videos, like with, maybe within the past few weeks that I noticed, and someone said, how are you always so glam and always so motivated and so happy and like so on it 24-7? And I'm not. And I've talked, today is kind of like a down day that I want to come on and just let you guys know what I'm going through because maybe you're a single mom out there going through the same thing. Maybe you're a teenage boy or girl who's struggling. Maybe you're at any phase of your life, you know, having a hard time and you look on social media or Instagram or YouTube and see these people with perfect lives or they're all like always glammed up or always on it or always happy. And like, yes, I try to be happy and motivational and inspire you guys as much as possible. And I truly do love my life and my current situation. I am, I would say, pretty much the overall happiest I've been in a really, really long time right now despite what you see today. Uh, but I have my down days too, you guys. I have a lot going on right now behind the scenes that you guys don't see. Um, you guys know my brother actually had a tumor. He got that removed. That was very hard on our family here for a few months. Um, I have been working so hard on all of my Girl Boss Academy courses, like re pre-recording content for that and creating the PDFs and the worksheets like behind the scenes. Um, so much stuff with my, just my business in general. I hired an assistant and just you know I'm on like a 12 week cut, I'm trying to like slim down, I'm trying to like prep all my food, I'm trying to still put Christian obviously at the very top of the list. Um, he he always has to come first, like YouTube and social media and all that can never overpower. Obviously being a mom always comes first, but it's hard because I feel like I'm doing so many things and I want to be like this businesswoman and grow up my business and expand and all this stuff. And it's just hard when it's just me doing it. So lately I've just Last night and today, it really all just caught up to me and I was feeling really run down today. And I just figured it'd be a good opportunity to turn on the camera and have a real, just like raw chit chat with you guys, I guess, about where I'm at. And yeah, I'm not sad today. Um, you know, I'm good. I have a lot of things going, but I'm super blessed in life and I am grateful for all of the like success on YouTube or social media or whatever you want to call it. I'm grateful for you guys. Um, it's just a lot, you know, and I am finally happy that I have an assistant to kind of take some of the workload off me because I've been going to bed every night at like 2 a.m. and it catches up to me and I can't be the best mom and the best woman when I'm physically drained. Um, but yeah, I I guess just wanted to like turn on the camera too because I was just watching, why is my heart like, it's like I need to calm down. Um, I was just watching a bunch of wedding videos this past hour, not on purpose. I came home and I was like, I need to do laundry. I needed to respond to my emails. I got to clean the kitchen. Christian's napping right now. I have so much to do. And for whatever reason, I clicked on a wedding video and then that led me into like 300 other wedding videos. But I just started like bawling my eyes out. It was from this channel, Cole and Sav. Let me know if you guys follow them. I've never seen their channel or don't know any of the content that it's about, but the video started playing. And I just like immediately started bawling. Um, the video opens with her like saying her vows to him and they're both like really young, super cute. And she's like, I never thought I would be standing here like saying vows to like my husband or have this incredible of a relationship. My last relationship drained me and took everything out of me. And I always thought I was unworthy because I had a kid and no one would want to date me. And now standing here with you I'm like blown away at the fact that I even met you and like at how much you love my daughter because she has a three-year-old and I don't know that just really hit me I just like started bawling because obviously you guys know I'm single right now it's been I'm not gonna say it's been like hard for me or say like 
like everyone has their own struggles, you know? Like yes, my son was born premature. I have raised him 100% on my own. I try to keep it together and be the best parent and be super strong all the time, but it's, it's really hard raising a kid on your own. And this is not like a complaining video or anything. This is why I hesitate making videos like this because I don't want anyone to think, oh, poor you, your life, you have it so good, da, da, da. I have an incredible life, you guys, I really do, but I've worked really hard for it. This is my fourth year on social media. I have like tried to be so engaged with you guys and reply to the comments and like so many things to where, yes, like we have a nice condo now and a nice life that we have, but I really do feel like I've worked hard for it. But I can tell you firsthand, having any amount of success or money or a nice condo or anything doesn't equate to happiness. Like I said, I'm, I am at a happy place in my life right now, but you can have all those things. And if you don't have genuine friendships or love in your life, you can still be a really empty person. And... I don't know, like just watching all these wedi wedding videos today just got me like so emotional because obviously, like I said, I'm proud of the woman that I am. I truly love myself. I am doing like my new, my finished journey and stuff and wanting to just be a healthier version of myself and be the best like woman I can be. But at the same time, like, of course I want a relationship, like when it's the right person. I don't just want any relationship, you know? Um, but just like seeing these wedding videos and stuff, it gets me emotional because I hope one day to date someone who is so amazing and who's everything that I've been wanting. And I hope I'm gonna be everything that they've been wanting and praying for, you know? And I know that we're gonna meet, ugh, I hate crying. I know we're gonna meet at the right time and it's just not my time yet. And I'm so content with just having Christian and being Christian's mom, like, oh my God, he's my everything. Like you watch, if you watch my draw my life, he had a really traumatic birth. He's, it's even such a blessing that Christian's even here. Like he almost passed away twice. Just to even have a healthy kid, and not just any kid, Christian is the best kid. He has such a kind heart. He loves everyone. Like, I don't even deserve him. He's an incredible kid. Like, the fact that God picked me to be Christian's mom is mind-blowing because he is incredible. He's an angel. Like, I don't know. Like, he was, he was meant to be... We were both meant to be put in each other's lives because he makes me a better woman. He makes me a better mom. He makes me want to be kind to people, even when my patience is up to here and I want to like blow a casket. He makes me be a better person and I am so grateful for him. And like I said, I am, I want to make it known. I am truly grateful and happy in life right now just with Christian, but I do really look forward to the time when I find the right relationship that I've been wanting and manifesting and praying for because I know that it's going to be incredible. And I guess just seeing all these like wedding videos on YouTube today, first of all, it makes, if you guys watched my video, how to attract your soulmate, how to attract a partner. You, I talked about it in that video, you have to be so happy for other people when you see other people so in love, if that's the kind of love you want. You can't look at those relationships and be jealous or hateful or envious because you're putting out really negative vibes into the universe. So when I watch these wedding videos, I start crying. Yes, because I want that for myself, but and because I'm so happy for them because I don't know what's been in their past. Maybe they've gone through really bad heartbreaks and they deserve this love. And I'm like sitting on the couch crying because it's like I want that for me and for especially not even just for me like I could die just having been single my whole life and I would still be super fulfilled and like my life would have still been incredible because I had Christian but I want an amazing incredible father figure for Christian like I don't want him to miss out on that like I'm okay like I'll I'll be fine you know but I really want someone incredible for Christian and just seeing like these wedding videos of people getting married where one of the partners in the relationship has a kid and the other person comes into the picture genuinely loves that kid so much like this one guy was like saying vows to this girl's three-year-old daughter and he was like i am like i love your mom so much like i just wanted to know if it'd be okay with you if i adopted you or if i was your dad or if i if we all made one big family together like how incredible is that it's like you hear people say like like that girl said she felt unworthy of being in a relationship because she has a kid. Everyone told her, oh, like, you're trash. You have a kid now. No one's going to want to date you. That is the biggest load of bullshit I have ever heard. Where does that thought process even come from? Single parents are some of the strongest people I have ever known. That means that you had to overcome so much and financially and physically and mentally support another human being all by your damn self. You're probably one of the strongest, like most resilient people ever. Why on earth do people think, oh, you have a kid, like, you're done, that's that, like, no one's gonna wanna date you. 
that's just incredible to me like that's so disrespectful to say like i've been through so much more with christian than i could have even pictured or even imagined i would have to go through it has made me so much more of a mentally stronger physically stronger person like i said a more kind-hearted person a more grateful person and wow i feel like i have so much more to give in a relationship now because i've truly learned how to be compassionate and loving if i wouldn't have had christian i would probably still i wouldn't be as good of a woman as i am I, and i still am you know like learning and trying to be a better woman in the future i'm not saying like oh i'm perfect or anything but christian has taught me so much about kindness and unconditional love i think i'm more equipped to, to have a partner now because of everything christian's taught me like it just blows my mind when people think if you have a kid you're not good enough for a relationship or like no one's gonna want you that's horrible and if someone's ever told that to you like shit let this video be a reminder you're incredible you are so worthy of love you deserve it you deserve good friendships, a supportive family. Raising a kid is really hard, and you deserve some recognition for that. Whether you're a single dad or a single mom. I mean, shit, I know, with Christian, I've missed out on a lot of things because I've had to be home with Christian, or I've had to be in the hospital with his lung issues, like, and that's fine. I'm not saying anything else should trump that. Like, mother, being a mom should always be the number one priority. I'm just saying, like, that's what my life has been, of course, since I've had him, and it has to be that way because family always comes first. I guess it's just really nice to see in these, like, wedding videos tonight that I saw how many genuine mature men are still out there and the wedding videos are just such an inspiration to me i guess i don't know i just always start crying when i see any type of proposal video or wedding video anything like that yeah just because like i said i am i feel like i'm like rambling at this point i'm just so happy for the people in the video that they've found love that they're genuinely happy and it just gives me hope that when the time is right i will meet the right person for me and for christian and i'm just excited to have that kind of love you guys i'm really excited and you know what i feel like it's coming soon because i the person i dated two summers ago i never felt like i were kind of dated or whatever i never felt like i was good enough for him i was always trying to physically look better or like the things he was into or do everything i could to make him like me and no matter what I did, I was never good enough for him. And I realize now that we just weren't meant for each other. I'm, I was just not the right person for him. All the little quirks about me that he didn't like or that annoyed him or that I wasn't good enough, the right man is gonna come into my life and he's gonna love all those things about me. And he's gonna think that those like quirks about me or those personality traits about me are so amazing. And it's so crazy because it's total opposite end of the spectrum. Someone could tell you, red hair looks horrible on you. You're not thin enough, da da da. And then your perfect partner could come into your life and they could be like, you look amazing. Like, you are my dream. Like, you're so beautiful. That red hair is gorgeous on you. It all depends what perspective you view it from, you know? And I was, it just makes me sad because I was trying so hard to physically change myself so he would like me, yet I needed to like me. I didn't even like myself at that point. I was so wrapped up in wanting to be what he wanted that I didn't even know what I wanted for myself. And... I don't know, I guess these are happy tears because I'm in a happy place in life right now, despite this, I promise. Like, I'm on my fitness journey, I love myself as a person and as a woman, and I just, I think that the right relationship comes to you in the right timing in life when you are happy with yourself. That is the right time when the right partner will come in and can add to your happiness. The right partner, like, the right relationship is not going to come to you if you're feeling empty or you're feeling ugly or depressed or anxiety-ridden or that you're not enough. Having someone else put into the mixture for them to fill that hole, what happens if they break up or if you leave? You're still going to have that hole. You're still going to be empty. You need to be a whole person yourself before you are ready for a relationship for someone else to come in and then they can just add to that happiness and you, it can just be, like, incredible and you can lift each other up and support each other's dreams and they won't be trying to fill something that you already have to fill up first yourself you know so yeah i don't do not know you guys like where this is going my camera says i've been recording for 16 minutes i don't know i just wanted to come on do another like very raw chit chat i guess uh and yeah i'm not sad overall i just I have the days like everyone else where I do see other people super happy or other people in a certain situation and I wish I had that or I just get excited because I do know that I will have that but I don't know when the right timing is or who it's going to be or when certain people will come into my life so it's exciting. I'm also happy for other people to see them in relationships where they're so genuinely happy and fulfilled. It makes me happy for them. It makes me realize that it's out there and 
I don't know. I just, you know, I'm just focusing on really just trying to be as grateful and content in the moment as I can with my life, with Christian, with everything that I have. You guys, I'm so blessed to do this job every day. In every video, in every intro, I'm like, what's up? If you're coming back to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Like, you guys are the best. And I know my intros get drawn out, but I am appreciative for you every single time. And I just, I want to make sure you guys know that for watching any video of mine that you do, supporting Christian, supporting myself, there's no words that I can say to let you know how grateful and appreciative I am. So just wanted to remind you guys that people on social media or like with following still have these type of days you know I still have those mom life days where my hair's up in a bun I have no makeup on I'm just cleaning the house all day I'm a little overwhelmed I got a full trunk load of stuff to take to Goodwill um and yeah I'm a real ass human being you guys <laughs> and uh you know if my future bae could uh, hurry up and enter my life that'd be cool that'd be cool <laughs> This video is getting too long. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Mm.